Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey there, Catherine Emery here, home improvement lifestyle expert, clearly not an actress. Hey, does this look all too familiar to you? Risking your safety in the name of getting crystally sparkly windows that you can see through? Yes, I know it does. So I'm gonna show you today how to clean your windows, all of them, even the second story ones, without ever getting on this again. Like I promised, I have two great options for you to never get on that ladder again. The first one, all it requires is a regular garden hose. We all have a regular garden hose outside, right? So this Rejuvenate window cleaner, I love it actually, it's a two in one, so it's a house wash and a window, window cleaner. But what you'll do is, you'll just get your garden hose, attach it to the end here, and they make it very easy to screw in. Like you can see, you just turn right until it gets, until it gets super tight. Then you're gonna wanna, of course, go turn on your hose. Then you're gonna do, it's two steps. So you're gonna rinse the windows, which it says it clearly marks it on the package rinse, and then you're gonna turn it to chemical two. That's the window cleaner. Then, as, so you can see here, as you can see here, I can reach up to my second story windows, and the nice thing is, you wonder, all that runoff going into my plants you see down there below, right? You don't have to worry about that because this is this is plant safe, pet safe, so no matter what. So the nice thing is too here, Sue, you see about all my stucco here. If I wanted to turn it to chemical one, I could cl also clean the side of my house and the stucco, but we're talking about windows here. So focus people, focus. So as you can see, now these will just, windows will just dry and they'll be sparkly clean. And all I needed was a garden hose and some rejuvenate window cleaner. All right, now option number two, do you wanna get it done? Do you wanna get it done with the power of a machine? And do you wanna have fun doing it? then you have to invest in a pressure washer. I am telling you, the way they make pressure washers these days, they are well built and they are affordable. So when you're looking for one, specifically with window cleaning in mind, you're gonna wanna look for one with different nozzles. Generally, a turbo nozzle is what you're gonna need because you wanna reach to that second story window. So you wanna make sure that you're getting some pressure behind the nozzle. Also, when you're gonna wanna look at how long is the hose? And I like to look for kink resistant hose because I don't want to get caught up with a kink when I'm in the moving and grooving cleaning my windows, right? So get a long kink resistant hose. I like ones with big wheels on board so you can move it around, very maneuverable. And also a soap tank on deck because, or on board, because the soap tank's gonna come with me and I can fill it with window cleaning fluid, get the job done right. The beautiful thing is, when you invest in a great pressure washer, it's gonna come with all these different nozzles. Guess what, guess what all those different nozzles are for? Cleaning other things. So you can clean your fence, you can clean the side of your house, you can clean your driveway, you can clean your patio, you can clean your patio furniture, on and on and on and on and on. You get the drift. I have with me today the, the Greenworks 2700 PSI pressure washer. It is their brand new pressure washer and let me tell you, it does not disappoint. I like, they have special patented jet flow technology, so it adjusts the water pressure based on what nozzle's on there. Basically, long story short, you don't waste water, and I live in California, and I like the environment, so I don't wanna waste water. Anyway, a pressure washer is a great option and one that you should consider if you don't wanna get on that ladder and get those windows looking sparkly clean. Mm -hmm.